Hi, my name's Juliet, and today I'm going to show you how to make transition text effects in Shotcut using a still promo image, although you could do this on a video as well. So, place your image or video onto the V1 track. This is deliberately a very basic image, so you can clearly see the effects I'm going to show you. Imagine a beautiful flat lay, or one of those standard paperback, tablet and phone images with an appropriate background. The first effect is going to be a simple flash of text that goes away. This is similar to what we did in the previous video on audiobooks. However, this time I'm not attaching the text to the V1 layer. I'm going to give it its very own layer, with a transparent background, so that we can use some different effects. Go to Open Other in the menus and choose Text. A box will come up into which you can type the text. Type something in and it will appear in the video display. It doesn't really matter what you type in here because you'll be able to use this layer multiple times, as I'm going to do. You can, at this stage, format the text with the text simple default box that appears at the side of the screen, if all your text is going to be the same throughout your video, but I'm going to do that later. Before I show you the next stage, there are other ways of doing this part, but this is my preferred method. So, click on Playlist on the toolbar and drag the image from the display across into the playlist. It will then appear as an item, a clip, that you can apply to your tracks. So, drag that text clip onto the V2 track. If you click onto it, you'll see you get the text simple filter options again. Change the text to what you want it to be and adjust the length of the clip so that it is just a few seconds, but doesn't start right at the beginning of the track. Also, use the sizing squares on the text item in the display to resize and move it to where you want it. Now, if you play the track, that text appears and disappears. That's a very simple overlay. You could do multiple of these along the length of the video if you wanted, each time dragging the text clip onto the timeline and changing it appropriately. You could also copy and paste it if you want the formatting to be the same. OK, let's try something a little more complicated. We're now going to create a completely transparent background. Go to Open Other in the menus and select Colour. Make sure it says Transparent, which is the default, and click OK. Do the same as before and drag that transparent clip onto the playlist. Now we're going to make that text clip we had before do something different we're going to use a transition. Drag the transparent background clip onto the timeline and then drag the text clip on too, right behind the transparent background. Then pick up one of the clips and drag it over the other one. You'll see a new section appear on the timeline, which looks a little like an egg timer. This is the transition. You can easily change the size of this by dragging it bigger or smaller. If I play it, it gives you the default transition, which is a dissolve. But there are many more to choose from. OK, I'll just format that text. You should probably do this first, but you can do it afterwards, like me. To change the transition, right-click on the transition and select Properties. Here there's a list of many different effects that you can play around with. I'm going to select Bar Horizontal, and this is what it looks like. The text sweeps onto the screen. You can make it a harder transition by reducing the softness. If the text is revealed too fast or slow, you can extend the size of the transition. But don't get rid of the remaining section of the text. Extend that if necessary, because that is the part that keeps the text on the screen afterwards. Now we're going to make the text disappear in the same way. So, get another transparent background clip from the playlist and place it at the end of the text clip. Create another transition and repeat the formatting. Now the text reveals and goes away.
OK, let's say that after you've had your initial words disappear, you want to put a very short elevator pitch length teaser for your book or a quote. What if you could get that to reveal down the page at reading speed? Put another copy of the transparent background and text clips onto the timeline and change the text to something longer. Not too long, though. That won't work in a text simple box. Then do the same as we did with the first piece of text to create a transition. But this time choose bar vertical. You're probably going to have to extend this one a lot to show the text at a readable pace. But that's easy enough. This is what it looks like. Finally, you may not want this text to disappear in the same way. That might look a little odd. But let's do another effect to fade it out and just let it dissolve without having to use a transparent background again. You can do this by dragging the relevant top corner of a clip to fade in or out. This automatically fades to black as default. But if you go to the filter panel and select fade out, you can change that to opacity, so it disappears. You can also add this by selecting the clip and then selecting the fade out filter in the filters list. And here's the final clip. I've adjusted the timing so it's a bit more compact. So there are a few ideas for your book promos to make them a little bit more interesting. Thanks for watching, and if you've subscribed, I'll see you again next time.